What's up guys? It's really been a while since I've done a pickups video. I'm a little more moved in to the uh, new place, so I figured I'd update you guys on some of the games that I've recently gotten. Not too many, because like I said, just now, I did move, so I didn't really have the chance to go game hunting too much. But I did get some pretty cool stuff, and I'm going to show you some of the highlights. It's not everything. Some of the highlights of the uh, recent pickups that I've gotten. So, welcome back to the very next episode of Game Collect. <coughs> I can't talk. Game Collect. So, first on our item is from PAX East, and that is a foam... Uh, Final Fantasy 14 like, phone sword thing, which is pretty cool. They were kind of just handing them out at their booth, which I thought was really nice of them. It's, a uh, kind of an advertisement for Final Fantasy 14. It says, like, play now, blah, 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 blah. But it's pretty cool! So I picked up one for myself and some for some friends. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Next up on our list is a copy of a game that I'm surprised I actually didn't own by now, but that's Resident Evil on PS1. This is the original release of Resident Evil before the director's cut and like DualShock uh, versions, I believe. And uh, yeah, so really happy to own this. This game is a instant classic, so definitely try it out if you haven't. But I'm sure you probably have because this game is really popular, as you all probably know. Next up on our list is the sequel to that game, Resident Evil 2, for PS1, and I think this is a variant of the cover because I don't know if the original release of Resident Evil 2 has uh, this sticker on it. This guy right here, the one that says, win a part in the movie or other great prizes. Next up on our list is a copy of King of Fighters Maximum Impact. Maniacs for the OG Xbox. This is uh, just a disc, actually. I just kind of printed out a uh, cover for it. Because uh, I got the disc, actually, um, when buying another game. It came with both, I think it was SVC Chaos. It just kind of had this disc in it with it, so I just kind of gave it its own case and printed out the artwork for it, which is pretty awesome. Eventually, eventually I'll probably try to get an actual case for it. Next up on our list is another item from PAX East, and that is Season 1 on DVD of the Angry Video Game Nerd. Um, I love AVGN. Everybody loves AVGN. So I saw this, and I know some guys from Screenwave, so I was like, alright, they're my bros. You know, I'm going to support them, so I picked up a DVD, which is pretty awesome. Next up on our list was a gift, actually, uh, that I got at MAGFest from Mike Petprocki of Gang Entertainment. Now, those of you in the Shenmue community may know Mike from, uh, like I just said, Gang Entertainment. They made live-action versions of the Shenmue movies, as well as movies within, like, their own gang universe, uh, which is pretty awesome. I've been a huge fan of these guys since high school, so it was an honor to meet Mike in person. And he gave me a copy of Shenmue the Gang Edition Trilogy on Blu-ray. And he even signed it for me. I uh, It was so awesome getting to hang out with Mike. He's such a cool dude. Definitely check them out, Gang Entertainment. I'll leave their YouTube channel and their website in the description below. Next up on our list is uh, a very, very important item to me. And I was going to keep this for the end of the video, but I kind of just forgot to rearrange the stack that I have right here. And, um, <laughs> I was like, oh, there it is, so I'm just gonna, uh, show it off now. Now, those of you who may follow me on social media, uh, Twitter, you know, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, may know that I recently, uh, got to see Yu Suzuki, which was really awesome. He is such a humble man, I love him so much. Um, I'll be doing a video about that experience soon. Uh, however, I haven't quite figured out exactly how I want to edit it all together for the Magic Monaco trip. So, uh, it's not out yet. <laughs> Sorry about that. I kept talking about it on Twitter, but I haven't finished it yet. But, when I saw Yu Suzuki, I got him to sign my copy of U.S. Shenmue, which is so awesome. There he is right there, to James, Yu Suzuki. And uh, over here is uh, Corey Marshall's signature, the voice of Ryo, which I got done at TwitchCon. Uh, not at TwitchCon, but while I was at TwitchCon, I went to L.A., met up with him, and he actually signed this for me. So, really awesome. Uh, I want to thank you, San, once again. Thank you for being so kind to your fans, and I hope to see you again soon. Next up on our list is uh, a game that used to be expensive, and I'm actually quite happy it's not anymore, because it kind of annoys me when video games become expensive for... I wouldn't say no reason, but like, 
when you want to like get a game and you can't because it's so expensive but it wasn't that expensive not too long ago but it's kind of nice to see the price lower again so i picked it up just for the laps and i left a sticker on it just for that uh i managed to get a copy of bayonetta 2 for wii u uh this is the one that has the original bayonetta and uh yeah it was 30 bucks at gamestop now i'm not really too big of a fan of gamestop but i was there and i saw it and i was like eh, all right fine so I picked it up, um, awesome price, really happy that the Wii U games are starting to drop in price because that's just crazy. Seriously, Hello Kitty on Wii U, why? Why is that game so expensive? It's not even a good game. Next up on our list is an item that I got from a store called Box Lunch uh, at my local mall. And um, it is an NES Splat Mat. Now this is the bag for it. Uh, the actual mat is on my table, which I'll put a picture up on the screen right now. It's pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't really fit my whole table, but I don't know. I kind of just put it there while I was moving for now, so we'll see where that winds up. Next up on our list is a PSP Japanese title that I found for $1, and I bought it because it was $1. Um, and it is this game right here. Um, I haven't translated the title. I, <laughs> it shows how prepared I am. I have a Japanese video game with a Japanese title, yet I didn't take the time to actually look up the game code to know what it is in, uh, in Romadzi. So, yeah, I'm just gonna call it Derby Time, because that's what it says right here. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I can kind of read Hiragana and Katakana, but this is like in a font that I don't quite... I can't quite grasp what it's saying, so I don't want to attempt and look really dumb. So I'm just going to call it Derby Time. <laughs> Next up on our list is another game that I found at the same store as that PSP game. And that is uh, a Japanese Wii game. Um, I forget. Once again, I didn't care to check to uh, translate. But I'm going to say it's Wii, your first step to Wii. And I bought this not because I really wanted to play it, but because I love this cover. It has like a weird 90s cartoon aesthetic to it. Like it kind of reminds me of like Doug or something. So yeah, I picked this up and super happy to add it to the collection. Because even if the game isn't good, the art is a part of the experience. Next up on our list is another item from PAX East. Um, I went to the limited run table uh, just to say what's up. And I picked up a copy of Oddworld Munch's Odyssey HD for the Vita. And yeah, so super happy to have this. Uh, they told me that this was a PAX exclusive cover. I don't know if that's accurate, because I didn't check. <laughs> I'm so prepared for this video, guys. Um, so yeah, this might be a PAX exclusive, it might not. Uh, maybe they released it with a different cover on their website. So yeah, super happy to have this. Uh, super awesome talking to everybody there. And yeah, so thanks, guys. Next up on our list is an anime. And uh, here we have a volume 2 of Please Twins, oh, get that in the camera there, which is uh, an anime, I don't know, I've heard it was pretty good, and I found uh, this volume for like $2, so I was like, alright, why not, I'll take it, I'll, check it. I'll take a look at it, so yeah, super happy to have that. Next up on our list is some more anime, and I do have two uh, games after this, um, so we have, and these are all from Book Off actually, so I can't wait to return the Book Off. Um, cause I'm gonna be in Japan next month, so I can't wait to go to Akihabara Book Off and get, get actual legit, like, Japanese releases of anime, which is gonna be sweet. Um, so this one, I don't know how to actually pronounce this. I'm gonna call it Simone. This is Simone. Here we have a copy of Sakura Wars. I keep looking down here because I'm actually looking at the preview screen to make sure I'm still, like, kind of in, uh, I'm kind of in focus. I'm actually using a new camera, which is pretty cool. Here we have uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. I remember... Now, don't hate on me, okay? But I remember torrenting this movie, which is, like, super bad. Oh, my goodness. But it wasn't available in the U.S. yet. So I remember uh, torrenting this movie with, like, uh, like fan subs. And uh, I had really fond memories of, like, those days. Like, oh, geez. Like, what was even out back then? What, what year was this? 2006, so this was after Supernova.org was taken down, so this was probably back in the, uh, 2006, BT Junkie days, maybe, somewhere around there, but yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm going off on a tangent, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children on DVD, this is the, uh, two-disc special edition, uh, yeah, it was, like, two dollars, awesome, why not, right? Here we have a copy of Ghost in the Shell 2 Innocence, I haven't actually watched this, 
I've heard kind of mixed on this in comparison to the original movie, uh, but I guess we'll find out. Um, and then here we have uh, Angel Sanctuary. I've never even seen this before, but I actually really like this cover, so I picked it up because it was like super cheap. So for our last two games, um, I have one that I really love, and then one that I never thought I'd be able to own, which is like interesting. So let's start off with the first one. Now this is one of my favorite PlayStation 2 games. Um, I absolutely adore this game because it, it embodies concepts in philosophy that I take very personally. And that is Star Ocean till the end of time. This game is so amazing. I cannot stress enough. If you have not played this game or the Star Ocean series in general, definitely check it out. I would say don't start with till the end of time, but it is a good game in its own right if you just like look at what the story was before this. So yeah, um, I think I bought this for like $5. It was like super cheap um, compared to like its eBay price and it is complete. Um, here, I'll show you the case because the case that comes in this is actually different than the, the normal retail release. So this is the two to special edition uh, cover. And then inside the box, it also has the booklet. So super happy to own this. Uh, I may actually play this game like all the way through again. And, uh, yeah, because I... Those of you who played this game, the twist in this game is, like, my heart. As somebody who loves theoretical physics and, like, the whole idea of philosophical multi-universe beliefs and stuff, I love this game. I'm not going to go further into that. That's not exactly accurate to what happens in this game, but I don't want to spoil it. So, to those of you who know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And the final game I'm going to be showing you guys today is a game that is from a series that I really like and I never thought I'd own this game let alone even see it it's not like rare it's not expensive but it's one of those games that unless you go to like eBay and really search for it you're most likely not going to find it uh, at least in the United States in Japan maybe it's different so for me to come across this just at a, a game store that I always go to and it wasn't only this one that they had, but this is the one that I chose out of the group that they had. That series is a series called Toho Project. And I've always wanted to own one of the games from it. And I managed to finally pick one up. And that is Toho Project Perfect Cherry Blossom. This is version 1.0. This is a bullet hell game. Uh, some of the Toho games are uh, like fighters, I believe. And I've only really gotten to the bullet hell ones. But this game fantastic um it does actually run on windows 7 which is really cool i ran it on one of my computers and it just ran natively in the os no problem so yeah i'm super stoked to own this i'm not gonna try to find the rest of the series they did have like three other toho games but this is the one that, like with the cover art just kind of struck me in a way so super happy to own this and yeah super happy to add it to the collection so guys, that's the only time we got for today. I really hope you enjoy this series. It makes me happy to show you guys what I get uh, when I go out in my game hunting. Uh, when I go like game hunting. Sorry, I cannot even talk today. I'm so excited. And yeah, so I also am working on a new background. Uh, it's kind of zoomed right now, but the, uh, the shelves go pretty far out, which is pretty sweet. And yeah, so let me know what you think. If you guys think that this angle looks okay. If not, let me know. And yeah, so thanks for watching, and as always, have a nice day.